Good evening. We begin tonight with sad news from the WGN family broadcast legend Mary D has died. We learned of Mary's death just a few hours ago. She was WGN's last director of community relations, the face of the WGN TV ch children's charities, helping to raise thousands for the cause. Today, we have, a re we have really lost a treasure. Mary D was born in Chicago, the youngest of six children. Her mother died suddenly when she was just two years old. My father remarried, married the Wicked Witch of the West. She says she escaped her stepmother's regular beatings and voodoo practices at age 12. She um, gave me a bus ticket one way back to Chicago. For a while, um, I hesitate to say homeless, but yes. She married briefly, had a daughter, Toya, went to work, and then back to school. Soon after, she fell in love with the broadcast biz. First radio. Mary D. the honeybee. <laughs> Mary D. the honeybee, the queen bee. She knew all about music, knew about jazz. Her break into broadcasting came at WBEE, where she was spinning records and interviewing rising stars. Then TV. This is WGN Television 9, Chicago. After 15 years in radio, we wound up here together. She was already well known back in the days of radio. So when she did the transition and went over to TV, it made her even bigger. One of the first people I saw when I walked in the door at WGN was Mary D. She walked up and said, well, hello, how are you? Came up and gave me a big hug and said, welcome to WGN. When I came here and of course I was sort of starstruck when I saw Mary D. Mary has always struck me as being ever present here. I was in school with her daughter, uh, middle school. So I met her way before she came to WGN News. But when I came to WGN, I immediately went to her office because I knew that was a friendly face. She was just my sounding board. She was the person to talk to. I often refer to her as my second mother. WGN and Mary D just go together. Mr. Lou Rawls and can count celebrities like Quincy Jones among her close personal friends. But it's those you've never heard of she helps the most. The number of people uh, that she's helped over the course of her career, and I know she's fostered the careers of many, many, many young people uh, among her many other <laughs> achievements, um, has been just astounding. Unfortunately, I had a daughter who passed. Mary was there at the funeral, at the wake, and just to see Mary D standing there was just, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's nothing to describe. We're on the air. Oh, hi, I'm Mary D. She's helped raise millions for the United Negro College Fund. She spoke out on issues, being one of the first black women on television in Chicago in a position where she could speak to people on different topics. Mary was uh, very outspoken. The great thing about the way Mary worked with the community was that she always spoke. She became so popular because she was so good. And she spoke almost weekly in churches, large and small, all over. Mary was at all of the parades. When it was time for Buck Billigan, you know, she was WGN's representative. Mary was known for this big, bright smile. And I never saw her grouchy or grumpy or discontent. Every day, I, somebody says, well, how are you doing? I said, I'm nearly perfect. I'm getting there. This is the statement that our family released just a couple of hours ago. With great sadness, our family announces the loss of our beloved matriarch, the brightest light in our lives, Mary D., who died peacefully in her sleep at home. Mary D. wasn't just a colleague of mine, but a close personal friend. I've known her since I was in elementary school. She was the epitome of style, class, and grace. She was a pioneer in the field of journalism, and it's because of Mary D. and people like her that black women have been given a chance to sit at desks just like this one. And because of her, that we have the confidence to stand up for ourselves and be counted. She will forever remain in my heart and in my fondest memories. Mary D. was 85 years old. Inspiration she was. 